what's going on guys? Something a little different for you today. I've actually got a little surprise in store. Not a surprise for you guys. Just, it's, it's, ugh, can't get my words out. It's actually a surprise for my friend Ash, who you've probably seen in a couple of videos. He helped me doing the brakes on, uh, on my ST. This is his ST. He's left it with me for a few days. Well, for a few weeks, actually. He's gone on holiday uh, down in Plymouth. So he left his car with me. Um, we had a few jobs to do on both the cars recently while he was with me for a few days. We didn't get them all finished. And uh, I kind of wanted to surprise him with finishing off some of the, the jobs we didn't get done on his car. And he doesn't know I'm going to do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to give it a go. So what we're doing, one of the jobs he wanted to do was fit this, which is a uh, mid-pipe for his exhaust, but with no silencer. What I'm planning to do is, uh, where's the car gone? There it is. Get this ST up on the, the ramps, up at my parents' place that you've seen when we were doing some work on my ST recently. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get that up in the air and we're gonna try and get the old exhaust or center section of the exhaust off and fit this one in. Okay, so we've got the car up on the ramps. I've got all the tools I think I'm gonna need. So by that I mean I haven't got anywhere near as many tools as I'm gonna need. So cars in the air, we're gonna jump under there so we can loosen some of those uh, exhaust uh, bracket, bracket? Clamp bolts. I've got some penetrating fluid to try and help me get it off. Uh, it's probably not gonna be easy. I've let the car cool down for a little while. The exhaust's probably a little bit hot, but as long as I'm careful, it should be all right. So uh, let's dive under there and see if we can get the old one off. But basically, we are taking out this center section, which starts up there. There's just two bolts there. I've loosened one um, when I filmed this before. But yeah, we're basically getting this center section. It runs all the way down to just that hanger there. And there's two more bolts on there. They're all 13 mil. Uh, like I said, I've already filmed this once. So I'm trying to remember what I actually said. I've hit them with some penetrating fluid already to try and get them loose. Um, it seems to work. Like I said, I've got one of these already loosened. So we're gonna try and whip these clamps off and uh, see if we can get this, this old one off. So I've got a 13 mil spanner. Hopefully we can get that on there. Just uh, something I forgot to mention when I started re-recording. Um, I've put some eye protection on just because the amount of rust and shit that falls off these things when you're trying to do them is ridiculous. I've got a feeling because Ash actually told me this center section i think he fitted it not that long ago i think it's been on it less than a year so we shouldn't have too many problems but he did say when he was doing it he ended up with so much rust and stuff in his eyes i think he ended up going to a e or something i remember him phoning me about it oh i can't actually get the spanner on this butt on this nut it must be a 13 same as the other one yeah so the one is rusted to shit. so i'm actually going to struggle to get a, a spanner on there it's going to have to go on don't know quite how i'm going to do that might try and crack the other ones loose or oh, i can get to them and then work on this other one in a minute yeah so that one's cracked loose I mean, that one wasn't even difficult. Hey, there we go. Got it. Good thing there's some new clamps for the old one. There's actually like a sleeve, oh, sorry, on the new one. There's actually like a sleeve on the new one. But looking at this, I don't think I'm gonna need it because there's actually like a sleeve attached to the back box. Well, it's part of the back box. So as long as this old centre se section that's coming out and the new centre section that's going in are the same diameter, I shouldn't need that sleeve. Okay, so it's taking a hell of a long time and 
I'm really struggling with this, but I think I've got it moving. So I've been hitting it with some penetrating fluid and I've been trying to press up on where the two pipes join and I can feel them like flexing, like in, one inside the other. So I know it's moving. I've just got to keep forcing them, try and separate the two. It is coming. I can see the, uh, I can see the line where they were stuck together. It should be off in a minute. So I've just gone ahead and popped the two exhaust hanger things off the brackets underneath the car so I can try and grip the back of the, the back box and pull it away from the center section because I think hitting it with a hammer the whole time it's just sort of rocking backwards and forwards on the hangers so it's not actually loosening it so I'm going to try and give that a go because it is I don't know if you can see but it is coming apart there you can just see where like where it was and where it is now it's coming yeah there we go so the back box is about to come off there we go Whew. that was tough the back box off because we've still got to get the other part of the center section off and then obviously we've got to put both bits of the new one back on this piece appears to be moving so I'll make myself a bit of room so I don't drop it on my head okay this piece is coming quite easily it's just uh, so far under here I haven't got a lot of room to manoeuvre what earth is this? ignore that my parents are getting a delivery hey it's off it's off <sighs> ah. Okay, so while we've got the exhaust off, no, no mid box or anything, no back box, just gonna have a little bit of fun, just quickly. There's no one here, well, apart from my mum and dad, but I'm sure they'll enjoy it. Actually sounds pretty good. Anyway, enough mucking about. It took too long to take that exhaust off. So uh, let's get this uh, new one back on. Just taking that bit of sandpaper, just trying to clean up this, uh, this pipe here a bit so the new piece slips on a bit easier. It's a good fit. I'm just gonna right. So I've got that pipe on, well, clamp on loose for now. I'm just gonna see if we can fit the back box up in the same way. Okay, so what we're going to do just to check it's all happy is start the car. Let's check it's going here. Yeah. So we're going to start her up. It's quite quiet. Sounds all right when you give it a rev, but what I've got here is a little bottle with some washing up liquid in it. I'm going to jump under the car and uh, spray down the joints. I hope you can hear me. It's going to spray down the joints where we've uh, where we've been working with some. Very liquid and water. I 
just see if we get any bubbles. If we start to see bubbles, it means we've got a leak. But it's actually looking pretty good. Too long. I won't show you this one, but well, unless it bubbles. You no, know, it's just running off. I think we're all good. Okay, so we've got Ash's ST back at my house. Um, only a very short drive. I haven't actually taken it out for a spin yet, which I really want to do. Just take it for a rip, see what the exhaust sounds like uh, out on the open road. But um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to do it tonight. This worked out a treat. The exhaust's still hanging a little bit low. I'm not too happy about the placement, but I'll let Ash uh, sort that out when he's seen it. I really can't wait to see his reaction. I really hope I can get his girlfriend to like film it when he first starts it up, because he's not expecting me to have done this. Okay, so really quickly, it's been a couple of weeks since we filmed uh, putting the exhaust on this car. Ash never came and picked up the car in the end. He left it for another couple of weeks. So I went on holiday, well, I went away. Um, he didn't come and pick it up. So I can actually get his reaction myself without having to like ask someone to do it for me or whatever so uh, he's gonna be he's gonna be here any any minute uh, we've got to do some more work on the car we've got to put some uh, fit some new wheel bearings hopefully he notices he doesn't like check around for parts or whatever or take a look to see if I've done any work I don't think he will have expected me to because I've gone back to work myself now so probably doesn't think I've had the time so uh, anyway we'll uh, we'll check back with you and see see what he thinks of his uh, his new exhaust oh I think he's coming has he not noticed? He's literally not noticed, is he? What have you done to it? I've fitted that exhaust. <laughs> He's not... He's not noticed. <laughs> Are you joking? He literally hasn't noticed. Just start the car up again. Someone was rattling. But you put that exhaust on. Start it up again. <laughs> 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 Did you not notice? No, I didn't know. What? Fuck's sake. I heard it rack it. Oh, yeah, 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 you are. <laughs> Have <laughs> I? You didn't even notice. Hey? I didn't even notice. Do you know what I was that when you actually started the car, I was stood there next to Catherine film it well thought I was filming she goes are you are, do you need to start the video or are you started it I was like oh shit go on then that's nice it's not too loud either give it give it a go well that was a bit of an anti-climax he didn't even notice I was hoping to get a decent reaction out of that but uh, it never really happened but we're actually editing this video right now and the man himself is here. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he's best pleased. No, there was a lot of hammering going on, but I'm glad it's done, so I don't mind, I don't mind, I'll let it go. But yeah, we were very hammer happy, but I'm, we, ha I'm happy. You mean me? Well, yeah, I'm happy <laughs> that. Ah, uh, well, I tried. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, something a little bit different. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed doing it. I'm not sure you enjoyed it. I'm enjoying it now. I'm enjoying You're enjoying it now. It now. Well, that's the main thing. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.